Okay, so um, it says, the next problem says, you are in the chemistry lab and you mix an aqueous solution of silver one nitrate. Remember nitrate, you know, that's the, ion, the polyatomic ion that I wanted you to remember, right? So silver one, that means, well, if you look on the periodic table, silver is AG, right? And it's a transition metal, so same, so it's written silver one nitrate. Right? So silver one means Ag plus, like that. Okay? Nitrate, you have to remember what the polyatomic, uh, the charges for these polyatomic ions, unless you can build them like what we did in the last, uh, the last um, app, or in the last problem. But anyways, nitrate is NO3 minus. Okay? So that's just something you want to remember. Okay? So silver one nitrate, the molecular formula, or the unit formula for that, would just be AgNO3, like that, okay? Um, together with an aqueous solution of calcium bromide, okay? So calcium bromide, you know calcium, it's got always gonna have that same charge, right? And if you look on the periodic table, it's plus two. It's in the group two, right? Plus two. So you know bromine always has the same charge too. And what is that? It's a halogen. So minus one, right? Minus one. So does plus two and minus one equal zero? So how many more minuses do we need? Yeah, we need two, right? Or we need two total, right? So calcium bromide is going to be a consisting of a unit formula of one calcium for every two bromides. Does that make sense? Or two bromide ions? So we would write it CaBr2, like that. Does that make sense? So let's just erase all that. Okay, so we've got these two things. And remember what we did in lab? Um, like a number of times in lab where we mix silver and uh, halogens, whenever we would mix silver and halogens, that precipitate would form. We did it with um, iodine, bromine, and chlorine in, that, in the lab um, three weeks ago, and then we did it again with that uh, when we were writing the total net molecular ion, kind of what we're about to do right here, okay? So anyways, this is called calcium bromide, okay? Notice because it's not a transition metal, the yeah, no Roman numeral. Okay, so we've got the formulas. Now it says uh, so you mixed a solution of silver one nitrate together with an aqueous solution of calcium bromide, forming a white precipitate. Write the molecular, total ionic, and net ionic equations for this precipitation reaction. Clearly indicate the spectator ions. Okay? So the molecular uh, equation is going to be the reaction between this compound and this compound here, okay? Remember, it told you they were aqueous solutions. So already you know, and we're gonna put this because just to remind ourselves that we're gonna have to balance this equation. And the white precipitate that forms, remember, is going to be silver bromide. But what is this? This is silver 1, right? And bromine, what's its charge? It's negative 1, right? So it doesn't need two bromines to counter with that 1. So what's going to be the formula of silver bromide? AGBR. So already that's going to give us a clue as to how we're going to balance that because there's not enough bromines, right? And this says it's precipitate, right? So is the state of matter here is going to be what? Oh, um, solid. Solid, right? And then, of course, the other is going to be calcium and nitrate, okay? And remember, the nitrate's ion, or ionic charge is what? The negative two? Negative one, one, right? Silver one nitrate, right? Okay, so how many nitrates does it take to counter that calcium? Two. 
two of them, right? Because no, calcium is plus, plus two, two, right? Calcium is plus two, and nitrate is what? Plus one. Or minus one, right? Okay. Like that. So that's the molecular equation, unbalanced. And now all we got to do is balance it. Okay? So we've got two bromines here, not there. So two, right? Now we've got two silvers there, not there, right? But we've got two nitrates over here and not here, right? So all we got to do is put two there, and then one calcium, one calcium, we're cool, right? Okay, so that's the molecular equation right there. Okay, so now it asks the total ionic equation. So you just break up everything into its ions that has a Q bind. Okay, so you've effectively done the whole problem. Now it's just, you know, kind of the rigmarole of doing everything else, right? So that's the molecular. The total ionic is to break it all up, and you've got to remember to keep those coefficients, right? So it's going to be 2Ag plus and aqueous. Okay? 2 right, plus 2NO3 minus aqueous. You can help me out if you want. Plus CA2 plus, right, aqueous plus 2Br, right, minus. Remember, it's 2Brs when you break that thing up. It's not Br2, right? Okay. Very important. That's like a very common mistake that people do. Very bad to do that. Okay? That doesn't make sense. Okay? Goes to, does this thing break apart? No, it's a solid. You don't yeah, it stays together. And this one? Plus, right? Oh, on the outside. You need to know that. Okay. That's remember that's like chapter three stuff. Okay. So that's the total ionic equation, right? Um, and then the net ionic equation. It's just everything that didn't change, or that changed, okay? So did Ag plus change to something else? Or is Ag plus in this side of the equation? No, so you gotta keep it. Is NO2, NO3 minus in that side of the equation? So you can cancel it out. What we're canceling out are called the spectator ions. Is Ca2 plus on both sides of the equation? Cancel it out. What about two Br minuses? Okay, so that's the total ionic. The net ionic is going to be, well, this is the beginning of the net ionic. Like that. Okay. And since all the coefficients are two, we can erase them. Because so, 2 to 2 to 2 is the same as 1 to 1, okay? So that's the net ionic equation, okay? You cool with that? Yeah. So, I think, so a lot of people will call this the TIE, NIE, um, and then the spectator ions um, are going to be the things that you crossed out, right? Don't need to put the 2, right? NO3 minus and you cool with that? Are there any questions on that one? Right. So um, I think the, the real uh, trick to these is to remember your polyatomics, you know? <laughs>